Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make zooming out and animate bonnet closing effect in After Effects, let's begin. First let's scroll to the second clip and duplicate it. Make sure you are at the beginning of duplicated layer, then right click on it, go to time and select freeze frame. Now go 80 frames backward, hold shift and press page up 8 times. Move duplicated layer there and then cut the ending of it. I will rename it to mask and then we have to mask out the bonnet as smooth as possible, so let's select a pen tool and mask it. Once you are done masking, duplicate the layer and rename top one to bonnet. Now toggle it off for a while, then select bottom mask layer and press M on a keyboard. Change mask mode to subtract to make the car visible with no bonnet on it. Now let's create new camera layer. Make sure that the type is set to 2 node camera and the preset is 35mm, then hit OK. Move camera layer above bonnet and mask layers and then cut the beginning and the ending of it as well. Select bonnet and a mask layer and enable 3D on them. Now open camera layers transform settings and then scroll to the end of it and click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create default keyframes. Now press U on a keyboard so we can see only created keyframes and then scroll to the very beginning of a camera layer, then grab a dolly cursor tool and zoom all the way in. Now I will scroll forward a bit and then create a new keyframes there. Let's select all keyframes and then press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve. Let's quickly check it. The zooming part is ready and now we can make a bonnet closing animation. Toggle on bonnet layer and then disable 3D on it because we will need to correct an anchor point first. Make sure bonnet layer is selected and then double click on anchor point tool and move it like this. Now if we change the rotation, it will be affected from that point. We can now enable 3D on bonnet layer and then scroll where you want closing animation to begin from and then change X rotation to something like that. Now click on X rotation stopwatch icon and then scroll to the end of a bonnet layer, then right click on X rotation and select reset. Let's quickly check it. Looks nice, but now select both keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Looks cool, and once you are happy with the animation, you can also cut the bonnet layer till the first rotation keyframe, cause the animation starts right from there. To make things smoother, enable motion blur on bonnet and a mask layer and then for a better results, we can add a shake effect. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.